Today, we're gonna take you on another RV park tour. Actually, this is an RV resort. Riverside Adventure Trails RV Resort. Right here in Bullhead City, Arizona. We've been here for a few days. Um, not a ton to do, but there's enough to keep you busy for a few days. We went to Oatman, and uh, now we're gonna take you on a tour of the park. Let's go check it out. Come on. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we are Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. We're full-time RVers. We do destination videos, tips and tricks, and all things RV. If that sounds like something you'd like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along on our journeys. Now we're getting ready to turn into the RV Adventure Trails uh, Resort. And this is strange because the Google Maps is showing to turn in up there where the GPS is. We're going to go ahead and turn in here at the street instead of going through the CVS parking lot. Uh, this is Aztec Street. Oop, a little bumpy here. And then it has you turn in to the left here in front of this auto parts store. And you can see the campground right down there, Riverside RV Resort. I think that's better than coming through the, the CVS uh, parking lot. <laughs> and that was the Garmin RV GPS that told us that. Google Maps actually got this one right and said to go the way we just went. So there it is, Riverside Adventure Trails RV Resort. When you first pull into the park here, you'll drive right by this uh, guard shack. There is somebody that works in there, but it's normally after uh, hours of the office. And speaking of the office, you can see there right in front of us, that is the office where the truck's parked. So what we did was we came in and we parked right over there just on the left side of that white Jeep. We pulled up there and parked and then we went in and paid and got all of our information and then we went to our site from there. This park has 430 full hookup sites. All have 50 and 30 amp service and sewer. The check-in time is from noon to 6 p.m. and check-out is 11 a.m. This park is open year-round. All the sites are 35 feet wide by 65 feet long and they all have a nice concrete patio. Some of our friends that were here had a little trouble with the concrete patio and their stairs. So if you uh, have issues with um, angles or whatever on your stairs and not being able to shut your door, you may want to park in front of or behind the pad. But that's something that you can always figure out once you get here. And to the left over here is the clubhouse and the pool will go ahead and take you inside. In front of the clubhouse is a little area here with three uh, nice little picnic tables. And behind me here, look at this. Does anybody know what this is? Leave a note in the comment if you've ever used one of these. Hello, anyone there? <laughs> Let's go on in to the clubhouse. This is a nicely air-conditioned place, which is very welcome right now. There are two pool tables that you can see. They have everything furnished for you, uh, plenty of seats. There are some board games in the cabinet over there. And let's go check out the rest of the building. This park does have a lot of scheduled activities. One of them is a quilting morning, Tuesday mornings right now. Um, and as you can see, there are some beautiful quilts hung on the walls. I had to go check them out before we filmed. And um, sadly, I didn't make it in here for the quilting day, but I would love to join. And you can see that there are lots of puzzles as well and a whole wall full of puzzles and games. And now we're in what I would call the um, activity room. As you can see, there are several uh, chairs and tables set up. I'm assuming this is probably where they do a lot of their quilting because they do have several quilts on the walls. This one I especially like. It's the uh, American flag. So that one's really cool. And behind you guys, there is a library as well. It looks like one of those uh, take a book and leave a book kind of libraries. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, 
It does look like they do have uh, bingo in here as well. You see the bingo um, sign, I guess, uh, behind where I am. And it looks like at one point they had a kitchen here. I'm not sure if it opens or not, but uh, it looks like they, they would pass through food and what, what not from the window there at some point. So, pretty cool little room, and they probably do the, a lot of different activities in here. I know that they do weekly meals, they do potlucks, they do um, breakfast and uh, bingo games, all kinds of different games that I've never heard of. Now we're in the pool area. Um, right here in front of me is the hot tub. Uh, they do have a big uh, area with lots of chairs and things, a couple of grills on the other side. So if you wanted to come out here and have a little bit of a barbecue and a party, this would be a great place to do it. We'll show you the pool here in a little bit. There are people enjoying it right now they said it was nice it's a little rough getting in uh, I felt it it didn't feel too bad but I didn't jump in either so there you go and over here they have a few exercise machines and then they also have a nice seating area so that you can enjoy whatever activities they have going on outside this park is just south of Bullhead City it's actually in Mojave Arizona and um, not only did we go to Oatman but we also went to Laughlin that's right down the road we're about an hour from Lake Havasu and an hour and a half to Las Vegas quite a bit of stuff within you know an hour to an hour and a half of this location it's pretty nice there are two grocery stores right outside the gate and a Walmart right down the street and Sam's Club up in Bullhead City these sites that we're going through now are mostly annual sites and you can see that they are kept very clean. There are no junky sites that we've seen in the whole place. I don't think there's a age limit on RVs, but everything is kept clean in this park. The rates for this RV park are $30 a night, $130 a week, and the monthly sites in the front of the park are 430 and the rear of the park are 410 dollars that's i think the best rates that we found in this area we stayed here for two weeks uh, and we paid the weekly rate it was uh like you heard very affordable so pretty cool uh, little place to come and stay we were made for each other to hold on to i was called I was birthed in the mountains under the sun. Something's changed, you can't see my face in the crowd no more. Something's changed, you can't see my face in the crowd no more. We are living the dream. Some of the annual sites are decorated very nicely. You can tell that this these residents take pride in their yard they have a very ornate uh, beautifully decorated spot makes it feel very homey and you can tell there aren't very many trees here there are the palm trees which are kind of nice for some of the sites but it makes Starlink very easy to connect uh, north is this direction so when we pulled in uh, our rear of our RV was to the north and we had zero problems connecting to Starlink. We have visible and the Verizon towers here worked very well. We have friends that have the T-Mobile uh, home internet and that worked here uh, very well also. up here to one of the two laundry rooms we'll take you inside and show you around there are also restrooms here 
I'm standing in one of the two laundry rooms and here are the washers. They are $1.50 each. And uh, we've used a couple on the end a couple of times and very nice. Everything's very clean in here. You do see that some of the washers are out of service, um, but there are plenty to use and it's never very busy in here. These are the dryers and some are 75 and some are a dollar. Something that a lot of the laundry rooms uh, don't come with in RV parks, but this one happens to have one, is an ironing board. And this one even has an iron sitting there. And come check this out. I know we've seen one of these already, but this park has the most of these I've seen since I was a kid. I've spent a lot of time on one of these. No dial tone though, I don't think they work. We're still at the back laundry room and there is also a bathhouse here. This is the ladies bathhouse. I'm gonna take you in and show you around. Again, this place is kept very clean. There are paper towels, soap dispensers, uh, toilets. Everything's very clean in here. And there are one, two, three, four, five shower stalls. A little old, but still pretty clean. Now that you've seen the women's side of the bathhouse, let's go in and check out the men's side, guys. As we come in the door, we give, have the three urinals here, and also three stalls, three sinks with mirrors, so that's nice, and a whole separate room in here for the showers. There are five showers, plenty of places to hang clothing on the bar up there, and uh, some chairs so you can set your stuff down or sit down to get your shoes on or off. Um, just like the laundries, um, very clean. Uh, they look like they could use a little bit of updating, but they're very well kept and very clean as you can see. I would have no problem at all using these. Now we're back up in the front of the park and there is a large RV storage area. It is not gated off separately, but um, I've heard that there are reasonable rates. I'm not sure what they are, but this is uh, for your storage needs. And there is the other laundry room and bathhouse. We won't take you inside. It's pretty much identical to the other. And this is a pretty cool little cactus garden a uh, walking path here right in front by the office. We are here in early spring and you can see the cactus are blooming. These ones are pretty uh, pink colors and uh, bees are flying around them collecting up all of their stuff. is one of the two dog parks. You can see that there are two separate areas. Cute, this one actually has fire hydrants inside for the dogs and it has a little bench. Um, there are two different fenced areas, like I said, and it uh, looks very clean. They provide a little tube with, uh, usually has shopping bags in there to clean up after your pets. Here are the dog parks at the rear of the park. The signs are that this dog park on the right here is for large dogs. And the one over here on the left is for small dogs. There's a little fire hydrant in this one too. And there's a nice seating area for um, you to sit while you're hanging out with your dog. We've seen groups of friends out there hanging out together, letting their dogs play while they socialize. Here we are at our site, guys. We're in site 404 and it is full hookup, just like all of them that are here. So there are 30 and 50 amp service, as well as dump and water. So it was uh, very uh, nice, very easy. Uh, you can see the pedestal and the water right there all together. 
and it was super easy because this road is uh, pretty wide. So all I had to do was swing out that way a little bit past that golf cart and back straight into our site here. And we didn't have any troubles at all. When we put the deck out, we look that way, not the greatest of views, but it's better than not being able to put the deck out at all. We have been in parks that are so tight, there's no way we can put our deck out. And if you look over here between uh, these two RVs that are our neighbors, you can see the mountainside or the hillside over there, and the sun goes down behind that every night. We've seen several uh, really nice sunsets from here. And then we come back around to this side, and there's our uh, poured patio. Uh, you may or may not be able to tell. It's about four to maybe six inches uh, high off the ground. So like I said, we did have some friends that had a little bit of an issue with their front stairs because their stairs are similar to ours, and they weren't able to put their stairs down and actually uh, close their door. So all they did was they pulled forward and put their stairs stairs over here off of the pad. Kind of a pain for them, but better than not being able to park here at all. We had a very good stay here near Bullhead City, Arizona. Well, that's going to do it for the tour of Riverside Adventure Trails RV Resort. What did you think? It was, they say a resort, and it does have <laughs> all the amenities. It, you know, it might not look like a resort because it's all gravel and not paved, but here the gravel is nice because when it rains, it could kind of be a mud hole. But um, I think it's very nice. It had the pool, several dog park areas, um, and it wasn't noisy at all. We had no problem with noise, a uh, very quiet park, very nice people too. Yeah. and you know the gravel pretty much goes hand in hand with being in the desert you're not going to get a whole lot of uh, grass in the desert because that costs quite a bit and as you saw we didn't pay that much for our weekly rate here so they're not going to put that much money into grass i'm sure there were a ton of seasonal sites here um, but like we said they are all very well kept uh, we've seen a lot worse for sure and it is a family owned park and the staff is very friendly as well yep we would definitely suggest coming here for a week a day a couple of weeks whatever the case is we're only an uh, hour and a half to an hour from several uh, big attractions so it's a pretty good location and as always semper fi and god bless hey guys it's dan and becky from bugs on the windshield and we'll see you next time on Jarhead and Ginger's Journey.